Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Grace. I'm a trainer here at RX Fit, and today we are going to talk about the top three exercises for building your back strength and endurance. Do just what you want. So back strength and endurance are really important for maintaining your posture. So, <laughs> okay, so back strength is important for helping to maintain your posture. Your back muscles are strengthened in the ways that they're supposed to be. They're gonna pull your joints into proper alignment so that you're not having that neck pain or that low back pain or even that mid back pain. Endurance is also important um, for back muscles because your endurance help maintain that posture as well. If your posture is giving out just normally, like when you're normally moving, then when you go to lift something really heavy or go to move really quickly, you're probably going to get injured because you're putting extra stress on your body and you're already out of alignment. All right, so anytime you start a workout, you want to prepare your body for that workout. So you don't wanna just jump in cold because one, your body temperature is not warmed up, you're at an increased uh, risk for injury. Another thing is that you want to make sure that your muscles are as balanced as possible going into the workout so that you're strengthening the muscles you want to strengthen and that there's nothing inhibiting your ability to strengthen those muscles. So the first thing that we're gonna do is what we here at RX Fit call release your muscles and that is can be done with a lacrosse ball, which I have here, can also be done with a foam roller and it can also be done with static stretching. Okay. All right, so the first thing that we're going to release is our pec muscles, like I talked about earlier. So what you can do for this is you can do it on the ground or you can also do it up against a wall. I'm gonna do it down on the ground here. So you're gonna wanna put it right in basically like the little pit of your armpit here. So in between your shoulder and the top of your chest, right in here is where you're gonna place that ball. And I'm gonna go down to the ground and just put it right in here push as much pressure as I can into that muscle and just hold for that 30 to 60 seconds. If you find that when you're in this position that you're not feeling a lot of pain, because it's typically uncomfortable when you do this. If you have a tight muscle and you're applying pressure to it, it's going to hurt. So if you're not really feeling much of anything, you can kind of play with the placement and move it a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, up or down a little bit until you find the spot that really is uncomfortable. Another commonly tight area on a lot of people is our trap muscles. So that's going to be right here behind our neck. So you're going to place, oh, I'm laying on a battery pack. <laughs> you're going to place this right here. And if this feels like a lot of pressure for you and is already super uncomfortable, then that is a great way to just hold for your 30 seconds. A way to intensify the pressure is to pick your hips up off the ground and just really jab your neck into that ball. So another important part of prepping your body for a workout is just making sure that you're increasing your core body temperature. So that can be anything from jumping on the treadmill and doing like a five minute faster paced walk to just where you're starting to break a little bit of a sweat. You can do some sort of mobility stability routine. Anything where you're getting to the point where you're about to break a sweat. So you've got your core body temperature increase and now what you wanna do is engage those muscles. Especially if you have a difficult time creating a connection to that targeted muscle. The engagement exercise that I wanna show you today that I think is great for activating your lats is going to be a banded pullover. So I have this resistance band here. What you're gonna do for this exercise is back up a little bit. You're gonna shove your hips back slightly. So like a semi RDL, you wanna have a bend at the waist you can have soft knees, but you don't want too much of a bend there. You're gonna grab both ends of your resistance band. Keep your arms nice and straight. Don't bend your elbows. And you're just gonna pull your hands straight down to your sides. And all the way back up. As you pull down, you wanna make sure you're really squeezing your lats. Your lats 
are these muscles here right under your armpit. So you're gonna squeeze there as hard as you can as you're pulling that weight down. So make sure you really are feeling that contraction in that muscle because that is gonna be an indicator that you're engaging the correct muscle because you can do that movement using other muscles. A lot of times if you have a little bit too much of a bend in your elbow, you can be using a lot of tricep to do that pull down. So squeeze and make sure you're feeling that fire. All right, so the first exercise for improving your back strength and endurance is going to be a scapular pull-up. The way that we're going to do this exercise is you are going to hang from a pull-up bar. You can use a resistance band to assist you in this movement if you feel like it's a little bit too difficult to do without one, but it's not a requirement. The way that we're gonna execute this exercise is you are going to sink all the way down as far as you can so that your shoulder blades are completely flared up. You wanna get as low as you can sinking down to the bottom of your range of motion there. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to depress your shoulder blades. So pull them down as the same way that you would in a lat pull down exercise. You want to pull your shoulder blades back and down at the same time that you're keeping at the same time that you're keeping your elbow completely straight. You do not want to bend your elbow because that is going to take some of the stress off of our targeted muscles and put a little bit more on our bicep. This movement is going to engage your rhomboids, which are those muscles we talked about right in between your shoulder blades, and they're also going to get a little bit of lat engagement. It's not a ton of lat engagement, but it will help to strengthen your lats. Okay, the second exercise that we're going to do is a TRX suspension trainer <laughs> row. So you want the straps to the point where you're able to touch your thumb to your armpit. This is gonna be your placement for how low to have the straps. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lower yourself down all the way to the bottom. You wanna make sure you're in a nice straight line here. So you don't wanna bend at the hips. You wanna keep yourself in a nice straight line. What you're gonna do from here is pull your elbows back until they get right past your midline here. You can make this a little bit more difficult by walking your feet a little bit lower down. Same exact form here, all the way down to the bottom, and pull yourself up. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, you can walk backwards. Same thing, keeping that nice straight line. Good. Okay, so the third exercise that we're gonna do for improving your back strength and endurance is going to be an RDL. A lot of people think about this exercise as one that mainly targets your glutes and your hamstrings. And while it does target those muscles and it does strengthen those muscles, it also strengthens your back musculature's endurance. So, okay, so let's get into it. You can grab dumbbells or kettlebells to do this exercise. And what you wanna do is almost that same position that we did with the banded pullovers in the engagement piece. You're gonna shove your hips back, but this time a little bit farther all the way down until you're getting a full stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Once you can't stretch your hamstrings anymore, you're going to squeeze your glutes all the way up to the top. As you go down, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing the absolute crap out of your back muscles so that you're staying in proper alignment here. You don't want to compromise that flat back. So you're squeezing your lats, you're squeezing your shoulder blades back together, and that is the isometric hold that I'm talking about. That's going to improve your muscular endurance of all the muscles on your back and work alongside your glutes and your hamstring development in that exercise to double in the fight against low back pain and improving your posture. Okay, so today we talked about the top three exercises to improve your back strength and endurance. We talked about releasing and engaging, a proper warm up, and going through the exercises and why they're important. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss another video. Go ahead and check out our website and sign up for our newsletter. If you sign up for our newsletter, you'll be among the first to know about our fitness masterclass when that is available. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take me to your soul.